Good evening, everybody. As director of the mayor, I welcome all the visitors and artists who have attended uh, this solemn ceremony of awards of uh, the Salon of our Radio Center. So thank you so much, Jose. Yes, I'm Carla Sandra Ross. I'm the uh, Chief Operating Officer and Co-Chair of the Art Renewal Center. I would like to very much thank Jose and the mayor for hosting us for the third time now at his beautiful museum here in Barcelona. Um, I'd also like to thank all of the artists who travel from all over the world to be with us here tonight, uh, as well as their friends, families, and patrons who are with us as well. Um, it means so much to us that, that you support the artists and, uh, and all the amazing work that they do. Um, as Jose mentioned, the, the exhibition, the 13th International Art Salon exhibition, consists of 89 works uh, from over an original uh, 3,750 entries from 69 countries spanning six of the seven continents. Um, the exhibition first opened at the uh, Salma Gandhi Club in New York City this past September uh, 2018, and then it traveled to uh, Sotheby's Los Angeles uh, in December, and now it's here for its uh, final venue at the Mayo. Uh, the works in the exhibition come from all over the world. Uh, we have works here from the United States, Argentina, Spain, Italy, England, Serbia, Australia, Brazil, China, France, Japan, Ireland, Sweden, the Dominican Republic, Haiti, the Philippines, and Germany, um, showing the rich cultural diversity that the world of 21st century realism has to offer. I would now like to call upon Jordi Alma uh, the director of the ARC Approved Barcelona Academy of Art, to say a few words. Jordi has worked tire tirelessly to disseminate proper training in the visual arts to hundreds of talented students from all over the world. Hello everyone, thank you very much for coming. First of all, I would like to say thank you to Cara Ross and Jose Manuel Infiesta for letting me talk on this special night. I just want to say a few words that I'm going to read it because I don't want to forget anything important. Thank you very much to all members of our renewal center for making this possible every year. And most important, congratulations to all the award winners and to all the participants in this great figurative art competition, which is a reference to artists, critics, and art lovers. There are a few art competitions with so much international impact. Our renewal center and Miami with figurativas, for example, give the opportunity to see good talent coming from all over the world showing at the same time a wide variety of realistic trends. Today, I would like to emphasize the high pictorial, pictorial quality of this exhibition. We can see here works of an impressive level that are the result of a lot of work, compromise and healthy competitive spirit. I believe that in order to keep the disciplines of figurative arts alive, there is nothing more important than this healthy cooperation and coexistence among committed museums, institutions, foundations, and educational centers that looks forward to the future. It is now with my great honor that I get to award our Best in Show winner from the 13th International Art Salon, Ming Yu, you mean? And to also invite you to speak and say a few words. Hello, everyone. Dear Mrs. Uh, Carl and the distinguished guests, good uh, evening. I'm Yu Ming. I come from China. Uh, it is great honor for me to be here. First of all, I would like to express my great, great gratitude to the jury for giving me this prize. It will undoubtedly become, uh, become my lifelong pride and will greatly inspire my future artistic creation. I think this is exactly what the ARC advocates, uh, which is go. Uh, which is to give full support to all your painting arts from all over the world with practical actions and to lead the secret of salvation 
to tradition and the classics. Finally, I would like to express my gratitude to all of you. I wish the ARC International Painting Grand Prix be even more successful. And may this ARC secret lead us forever. Thank you. Alejandro Rosenberg, first place still life for his painting of Samsara series Vanitas II. <laughs> Alessandro Tomasetti, uh, for the Fashion Week San Diego Award for his work The Queen is Dead and an Art Staff Award as well for his painting How Soon Is Now. Alex Bowens for the Fine Art Connoisseur Magazine Award for her painting of Asleep. Anna Schmidt, second place still life for her work Dead End. Angus McEwen, third place landscape for his work Shroud of King Dao and an honorable mention in the still life category for his work of Tea Break. Zaza Sesteo, third place imaginative realist category for her work of Ophelia. <laughs> Aurelio Rodriguez Lopez, second place still life and an art purchase award and the best Trump doy as well for his painting Old Chinese Pottery. Benjamin Victor, first place sculpture and an art purchase award for his sculpture The Angel and an Arcadia Contemporary Award for his work Robert the Bruce. Roderick and Malvia Sculptors, second place sculpture and an Arcadia Award and the TIAC Art Prize for his sculpture The Tissue of Time. Realist category for his work, Jovan Entre Frazos One. <laughs> Ellen Buselli, an Art Staff Award for her work, The Old Melting Pots. <laughs> I guess I'm really not going to get tonight. Hopefully, everything's okay. Um, uh, Emmanuel Descanio, uh, Descanio art, an art purchase award, and an honorable mention in the drawing category for his work, The Night Does Not Exist. Uh, Yoke Frema, an art purchase award for her work, Watermelon Invasion, an Arcadia Contemporary Award for Mor Morello Tree, and an honorable mention uh, in the landscape category for her work, Epiphany. Jean Liu, second place portraiture, a Fashion Week San Diego Award for his work Old Woman of Geethnic Minority. <laughs> Katsu Nakajima, who won the William Bugro Award and was the runner-up for Best in Show in this uh, year's salon competition for his work Woman in the Forest. Tony Brady, Honorable Mention, Sculpture Category, Women's Fate. Mikhail Lazabal, runner-up for Best Nude, for his work, The Choosing of an Idea. Philip Atai, an Art Purchase Award for his work, Sound of Innocence, 
and an honorable mention in the portrait category for his work, The Hermit. Rebecca Lunken, an Arcadia Contemporary Award, and an honorable mention in the animal category for her work, Admiral Fox. Ruben Belosa Adorna, a Chairman's Choice Award for the Knight of the Sad Countenance, and an honorable mention in the figurative category for the Adoration of the Magi. Stephanie Rue, Best Nude for a Soft Light Falls. Congratulations. Tina Spratt, honorable mention in the figurative category for her painting of Breathe. who won first place drawing, second place imaginative realism, an art purchase award, an Arcadia Contemporary Award, and an Aristides publication prize for drawing, all for his drawing of the rides. Congratulations.